Just wanted to show you guys this new Cargo Mate trailer that we purchased. This should be the Silver Crown model. Uh, my name is Ray and I own a business called Aqua Clean Power Washing and we bought this trailer uh, for the pressure washing industry and we've taken measures to make sure that it would accommodate what we do because we work with water and acid because most of the time when you clean stuff you use bleach to clean rather than using pressure to clean. At least that's uh, what the industry teaches but there's a lot of other people that still use pressure. So when we look over here I'll tell you a couple upgrades that we did. First things first, you can see the diamond plating. This diamond plating to the right that goes all the way up the front, this diamond plating comes on the trailer. The upgrade that we did over here was the diamond plating for a foot going down the side all the way around the trailer. This particular model of trailer also comes with a diamond plated wheel well, which is really nice. And over here you can see the rims that actually came on this. I did not expect this when I went to pick up the trailers. I was like, oh, that's a nice bonus. But because it's the higher model up trailer, it has the, uh, larger rims, I'm sorry, the uh, aluminum rims on it, which is really nice. And over here, something else we did, which I think is a really important upgrade that anybody should do when they buy one of these trailers. You can see how long the tongue is on this. I think it's only extended by about a foot, maybe a foot and a half. And the advantage of that is with my old trailer, uh, my guys kept jackknifing the trailer into the back of the truck over here and they kept, I kept having to get the rear quarter fixed and the bumper fixed because of them jackknifing it when they took a sharp turn. With a longer tongue, that helps to avoid that. So that's really kind of a no-brainer upgrade to do. Uh, something else that we did too for the wall joists, and something that's really nice about this trailer, you see there's not a bunch of screws on the outside of it. This is all one big, well it's multiple panels that are overlapped. You can see where the line is here, but it's really nicely done. Uh, another upgrade that we did was the 10,000 pound axles. axles. Uh, the benefit of doing the 10,000 pound axles is, if you use one of these trailers for doing commercial work and you put a lot of mileage on it, the bearings inside of the other ones are very small. They're almost like small car bearings. And because of the torsion that the axles go through when it turns, it puts a lot of stress on those bearings. And if you're doing like, I don't know, six, 7,000 miles a year, about every six to 7,000 miles, you actually have to replace the bearings. Not just grease them, but replace the bearings and the race. And when I picked this one up, I was talking to the guy and he said, being these are the 10,000 pound, he said the bearings are more like a small tractor trailer type of a bearing. So they're a lot larger and he said you probably don't need to replace them but every two years. So it's just another upgrade to consider because it, it does cost about three to four hundred dollars where I am here in New Jersey to uh, replace those bearings for the two axles. So it's just something to, to consider. Um, you'll save a lot of money in the long run and to go from the 7,000 pound trailer up to the 10,000 pound trailer the price really isn't a lot of money. Same thing for upgrading from the one model to this model here. Uh, something else I want to show you is you can see how nice the door is. And this has actually got two hinges on it over here on this side. But you can see how it's recessed and how nice it is. And it's got the handle there, one handle to lock here. It also has another handle that locks right here uh, if it's something you want to do. But I want the ability to put a dead bolt on it and always a backup just in case the handle fails. If I flip this over here, you can see inside of the trailer. We actually, this is the coating that they do inside of the trailer. I'll go around the other side here, show you the back really quick. Now we actually did some extra hinges on the back of this door and the reason was the other trailer that I had kept failing with the hinges and the doors were tilted and I had to pull them off and re-drill them and realign everything again which was something I really wanted to avoid this time around and when I spoke to the salesperson we had a nice long conversation about it and he said no this you can do order extra hinges and it's something that'll help it out. So we decided to go with four this time. I probably could have gotten away with three but it certainly doesn't hurt to have the extra. If we go over here. I'll flip back here quickly so you can get another good look at this. Obviously I have to oil those hinges. Something we actually did from our sign guy, uh, the back of these doors is usually wood finished. We actually, my sign guy actually put these uh, panels on here which are lighter than normal panels. There's some type of special panel that they have that's a lot lighter. But if you look at the composite of it, it's got thin pieces of metal on both sides and then actually has plastic on the inside. It's supposed to be a lot lighter and hold up a lot better for what I do. Now here's the inside of the trailer here. This is something, I did it going up the walls, this bed lining product. You actually see how nice the ceilings are too. And there's interior lights in it and I actually did a roof vent too. And you can see how nice the ceiling is. The other trailer I had just had a metal ceiling when you could see the bars inside of there. It really wasn't that nice. 
Now, because I work with water and bleach, which is a corrosive, I actually did the bed liner going all the way up the walls, but they actually did the bed liner in the bottom here. And the, the goal here would be to make this tight for like a quad that might go in here so that you can rinse it out with the garden hose and, and wash it out. Now, because I also work with acids, this liner is called Scorpion Liner, but I also ordered, an, I got another product when I spoke to them and told them what I did, and they said, look, you really wanna do this other coating that we have on top of the bed liner, which will then protect it. I got a little bit crazier. You can see how this is a little bit thicker, so you can see some of the white. But if you look here, you can see the panels that go up, which are probably quarter inch plywood. They go up the walls. But down here, this is a big piece of particle board that they did going about a foot up the wall. And then they actually put a piece of trim down here to finish it before they put the coating on it to make it more watertight and more durable. I don't know if this piece here is something that comes by default with these trailers, but it's, uh, it was something that was really nice to find there because I was expecting to have to do a little work to make this a little bit more durable uh, for what I do. I also built up the corners here. This is all me to make this so that anything that would come back would not end up inside of the corners here and get into the metal because the last trailer had the corrosives, which bleaches, it eats metal up. Um, not definitely not something you want to get into the cavities of the wall because uh, it just eats it up. Uh, you can see here how nice this is in the inside. Also did a couple other things here. I have to put ladders over here and some diamond plating going up the wall here. So that's to stop the ladders from sliding forward otherwise it would have slid up into the front wall there. And I actually put some drains in the front over here too. Just something for me if you're, if you're going to line it this might be something you consider doing too. It's just something that will help the water get out if the trailer is going to be facing the wrong direction where it can't run out the back. So down here you can see you got a nice vent up here. I was really impressed with the finished details of this. This is really a nice trailer on the inside. Uh, much nicer than the, the other product that I had purchased. And I'm not going to give the name because I don't really want to trash anybody. I don't think it's right. And it just is what it is. It's a beautiful trailer. Very, very happy with it. A couple other upgrades we did here too. If you look here, you can see the screws are a little bit closer here. They're a foot apart. So another upgrade that we did, which was very cheap to do, and we also did in the floorboards too. We put the floorboards 12 inches on center, and then we did the wall braces 12 inches on center. And again, this is a really cheap upgrade, and it makes the trailer a lot more durable. And when I buy trailers, I'm looking for them to last me for a good 10 to 15 years before I sell it and then buy something else. So I really wanted to make this one as durable as possible and do everything I could do to protect it uh, from the elements and from the, the products that I use to clean. You can see I've already got some containers in here. So I'm very happy with the trailer. Um, I don't know. There's other people out there that make other products that are great too, but I'm just very thrilled with what I had purchased these guys, and I did not expect some of the stuff that I had gotten with it, especially the diamond plating and a couple of the other upgrades. And it was a very affordable trailer. I think I spent about $11,000 on this trailer, and it's a, it's a pretty nice trailer for that. There's only one thing that, uh, if you're going to do this, is to be conscious of, because it's something that could be a problem. I, the other trailer that I had actually had this piece over here, so it was a little bit farther back, so you could open the back of the bed without crashing into the top of this. Had, I've had four trailers now. Three of the trailers came with a setup like this, and then the fourth trailer that I had purchased actually had it over here by that battery box where it would drop down there. Um, this one just is what it is, so you just got to be aware of your bed when you open it up so you don't damage anything. Maybe uh, put something over this to protect the back of the truck. I haven't looked for that yet. I'm going to see if I can find some type of rubber boot that I can put on it. I don't open it up too much. Most of the time I just open up the top to grab stuff out, but it would be pretty nasty if I had to open it up and have it crash into this and damage it, which is something that we did have earlier on, but it's been fixed. So it's just uh, something that would be nice if they did it a little bit differently, but it just is what it is, and I'm just sharing it with you so you just be aware so you don't damage your own vehicles. If you look here, they do have some of the screws on this side of the vehicle. It's not really that big of a deal. These are the only ones that they really have. And going around the corner over here. But going down the main wall where your logos would be, that's all very nicely done. So you don't have to have your sign guy undo a whole pile of screws when he does the logos. And a very nice finish on this. Very pleased with this product. All right, thank you for your time, and I hope you have a blessed day.